for this product. I just wish I would have had them years ago. Um, can't believe it took this long to finally get them. So, hey, but now we get to use them. So, all right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Over at my parents' house, um, they have my old John Deere 1025R. So what better way than to bring that back on the channel? Um, we got a new um, product here from Kimi Moto. They sent it to us. I thought this would be very useful, especially for the John Deere 1025R. Um, and it's magnetic uh, mirrors. So if you're backing up, things like that, and it might make it a little bit easier to see behind you so you don't actually have to turn around and kind of view that. So... I know my NS, Coyote NS6010 already has a mirror on the one side. Um, we might actually try to throw these on the other side and see what it is. I don't know if it'll stick out far enough, but we might try that as well. So if that's in the video, we did. If not, then it, it wasn't uh, useful at all, and we're just going to utilize the John Deere 1025R. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox this, show you what comes in the box, and then show you some uses on it so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right guys so the more i thought about it and was over there messing with the john deere 1025r um which you're gonna see us put it on that here after this but hey why not try to use it for the polaris sportsman 400 the four-wheeler along with the coyote ns 6010 right so i think these are going to be extremely versatile and you can just use them on whatever you want so let's go ahead and show you the john deere 1025r and how that works and then stay tuned towards the end of this video and we'll show you the other ones all right so it does say magnetized material do not ship by air and i bet it's kind of funny if it shows on here it was shipped by air i don't know if it was or not but uh, it doesn't say it so maybe not i'm not sure where it comes from but let's open this up be careful whenever you're cutting something open. That way you don't scratch it. Let's see what is in the box. Oh, so we got two smaller boxes. All right. Once again, this is from Kimimoto. I'll put the link for these products or this product in the description. So if you guys want to purchase it, you're more than welcome to do so. It just makes it easier for you guys. I, um, I'm not trying to do anything in regards to that except for just make it easier for you looks like there's actually two sets i wonder why they sent me two sets i was thinking it was going to be one mirror in each but i guess not looks like there's two mirrors so you have one mirror there and then another mirror we'll open the other one up and see what's in that as well you can see there's magnetic does come with some bubble wrap and a plastic film over top of the over top of the mirror there and then some instructions how to install it so basically it comes with an allen wrench or an allen and then you can tighten it it's a pretty strong magnet tighten it to lower it whatever you need to do to adjust it and then you are able to tighten it up. It's not an Allen, I'm sorry, it's just a socket. Um, I'm not sure what size it is. Let's see if it says right here. Um, It does not say, but it says it takes five minutes to install. I bet it takes less than that because you're just done. So let's go get the John Deere 1025R, bring it up here, throw this on there, throw these on here, and then we will uh, kind of test it out and see where we go from there. But before we do that, I just want to make sure this isn't what this is yes yeah, it's just another set so i'm not sure why they sent us two sets maybe um maybe we can put it on one and then another vehicle so we'll see what happens All right, so now we got the John Deere 1025R out here. We're going to take this and watch how simple this is. We throw it right, right there on the this bracing arm uh, where the loader goes on. 
Um, if you take the loader off, you're you're not going to have the ability to put that there. You're just going to have this piece here. But you can see there, um, we'll throw this one on the other side. And then I will tell you, my parents, they're on a vacation right now. And so this is going to be something nice that he'll come home to since we got two sets. I'll throw it on this one for him. And then um, we appreciate Kimimoto's always reaching out to us and allowing us to review their products on our channel. Um, but I think Dad's really going to like this for um, the use. So now we got it on there. Let's actually, uh, I kind of like the way you can adjust it on the fly. I don't know if you really want to tighten it up too much. Just get it where you want it and have the ability to move it if you need to. Um, you can fold them in, especially if you're going in some tight places. Fold it out if you need to adjust it on the fly. So the most satisfying thing right here. Woo! God, I love that. Let's, let's take it for a little spin. See how it bounces around if it stays on there nice and sturdy since it is magnetic. These magnets are, I mean, you can see they're pretty... They're pretty, um, pretty heavy duty there. So, I mean, I can't even move it on. There we go. I think they're going to be really nice. So let's go ahead and ride around from the front profile. All right, they do stick out just a little bit, but not too crazy. Um, there you go. Look at that. Let's peel this one off here too, because that's the most satisfying thing in the world. Oh yeah, peel that off. From the operator station, you can see just they stick out just enough. I mean, a real nice view as well. They're nice and clean and clear. Heck yeah. Hey, they, these are extremely nice. Makes it easy to back up. I mean, man, you, you don't have to turn your head all the way around. They do shimmy just a little bit, but not terrible. They're just a normal vibration. Not bad at all. I really like the way that they stay on. Let's go ahead and go over some bumps here. Oh yeah, takes it real nice. I'm gonna bring you on the operator station here and let you see exactly what I'm seeing when I'm driving. As you can see here, we're going down the driveway. You can see they rattle just ever so slightly, just the vibration of the, of the engine. But I mean, look at that. That's not bad at all. You know, if you want to back up, you can see exactly where you're going and don't even have to go down over this little bump right here. Look at that. Not too bad. All right, so we're back over at the house. This is the uh, NS... 6010 from coyote and as you see there is one mirror that is already pre-installed on this it's a pretty large mirror you can move it in and out you know whatever you want to do um but the other side doesn't have it so it kind of gives you a blind spot on the it's actually going to be the left side of the tractor where if you're backing up you actually have to turn your head so um i'm not sure if these uh mirrors are going to stick out far enough but let's go ahead and install it and see what happens you're only going to need one mirror for the tractor here so let's do that so i know why they sent us two different uh mirrors because there's there are two different types of magnetic um magnetic systems right so the one had real small strong magnets that were silver right and then these are more of a rubber based uh, where they might not scratch things so this one might actually work better if you're putting it on painted surfaces um yeah, so that's, I guess, the reason why they sent us two. So the other ones work really well. We're going to try these ones out. So let's go ahead and uh, throw the one here on the Coyote. And we're going to put it up as high as we can. And once again, I mean, you see, 
I mean, them things, they are definitely heavy duty magnets, right? So we'll level that up and yeah, it might actually be able to be extended enough. Look at there, you can move it. Yeah, actually that is perfect. Um, it's just far enough out to where you can see over and away from the or high enough where you can see over the tire and out enough to where you can see kind of around the tire, especially if you angle it just a hair. Gives you some pretty good visibility. So I'll bring you in here and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm actually pretty pretty happy with that. Um, let's let's look at it. So you can see how nice and snug those fit right there. Um, let's go <laughs> once again a nice oh one of the best feelings in the world again we get to do this four times so I mean you see what I'm saying like you can see all over just high enough where you can see behind that tire but at the same time if you kind of go up just a hair you can see below it and if you need to adjust it you can but compared to this side right it's almost exactly the factory one, right? Same exact view and angles for both. So if your tractor doesn't have a pre-installed mirror, these things, let me tell you, they're, they're actually just as good as the, the factory. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now let's try to put it on the Sportsman 400 and see how well it does over there. For our Sportsman 400, by Polaris. This is a 2004 uh, Sportsman 400 that Polaris made, and uh, we've had it for quite some time. Um, we actually got it from my grandpa. Um, he gave it to us when we moved to the property. Probably gave it to us five years ago now, um, but he owned it since the beginning, and this thing has been a workhorse. Super, super happy with it, and it it's gonna last a long, lot, lot longer. So, but it's got these racks on here. So he used to do um, field trial, or he does field trials, and had used to put all this full of bumpers and stuff like that for the the labs. But I mean, these carriage racks have been great for us. We've put groceries in them at times when we had to park down there. We've, you know, you can haul it up with all kinds of stuff, things to take out in the woods, put tree stands up, you name it. Um, very useful useful uh, baskets here. These were from Cabela's. Uh, he's got them a long time ago. But since this is metal, I was thinking we could just go ahead and put these <laughs> right there or maybe even right here um, to where you can. <laughs> that, that's awesome. I mean, look at that, guys. That is, that is too much. Um, let's throw this one on there. These things are so useful. And... and Something so small as a, a, a rear view mirror can get you as, as happy as this. This is pretty cool. Uh, these things are going to be very, very handy. So that one's going to go right there. And once again, for our fourth and last time, woo! best feeling in the world. So let me walk you around this. And then we're going to take it for a drive and show you just how well it's going to stay on here. Because I, I, these magnets are heavy duty and they're not going nowhere. So here you go, the profile on the Polaris Sportsman 400. Doesn't stick out too far. Actually kind of makes it look pretty cool. It is black. Once again, it's black on the uh, Coyote, so it matches both pieces of equipment. I mean, look at this, guys. This is just too cool. Who would ever thought you have rear view mirrors on a four-wheeler? Let's go take this thing for a ride. Look at that. 2004 Sportsman, right? And it's got, looks like we need to change the oil here soon. We got the wrench showing, but it's got 2,583 miles on it. Um, this thing's just rolling right along. But look here, the mirror. You can see both sides when you're driving. Let's go. How nice is this? Look at it, guys. Let's actually put it down a little bit here. You can see we're going, what? 10 mile an hour, 50, almost 15 miles an hour 
out the path over these bumps and these mirrors aren't going anywhere they're doing extremely well I don't know about you guys but that's a pretty good test I mean you can see where we came from pretty bumpy through here too. Hopefully I'm not bumping you guys around too much. But they really don't rattle too much. They have just a hair of a vibration, but that's normal with the engine. But nothing that you can't actually see out of. And they're not coming off. Look here. It's almost 20 mile an hour, guys. 20 mile an hour. And they are solid. Perfect. Yeah, I like them. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. I tell you what, I'm just super excited and thrilled that we were able to get these mirrors. Um, thanks again to Kimimoto. Once again, there was two different types. Uh, the type that has the rubber on it, as you can see here on the Polaris Ranger uh, Sportsman 400. And then the other ones that went on, we put on the John Deere 1025R, they had the smaller heavy-duty magnets. Both of those sets were just phenomenal. No issues, great visibility, and what a solid and great product. So um, I think we're actually going to leave these ones on the sportsman 400 here because i think they're going to be very useful for that don't forget that we are going to put the link to the, in the description for this product i just wish i would have had them years ago um can't believe it took this long to finally get them so hey but now we get to use them so hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time here on hill creek outdoors we'll see you